Hello, I'm back again with another video. It's Mark 21CQ for Hams over IP and how do you program other phones for well, our system? It's all right, I'm just trying to move my mobile phone in. Put it there because I need to watch watch the time. I have this portable SIP phone. I decided to, to get it was only about £59 from AliExpress they are a lot more expensive on, on uh, eBay it's the Linkfield W610W um, four lines available on this four extensions and 16 DSS keys what are DSS keys? Well, they're shortcut keys that you can actually assign to your friends, uh, conference rooms, um, all-star nodes as a speed dial link. Once you get your credentials from um, the FOIP networks, regardless of which ones you want to go for, you need to program the phone. Some phones are recognized by all the, the networks. If you've got Hamshack Hotline, I don't believe this is this won't be a recognized um, phone. So from your desk phone you already have, if that's uh, provisioned and supported, you can request a soft phone connection. I think for Hamshack Hotline you are good for up to five extensions with hams over ip you're good for 10 other extensions that's basically endpoints that's five or ten different types of phones and this can go on your soft phone link that uh, you may want to use because you may want to carry it around with you uh, or have it somewhere different and it's something else to use and something else to program away from a 525 they are they'll come they are quite easy to to program this is slightly different but when you get your phone and get your details sent through email you can turn it on sort the wi-fi out on this or um on a desk phone if it's fan fill this is very similar to fan fill now i think the the link fill is is part of the fan fill family i think so get your phone connected get it up and, and, and online and you get an ip address like can, as you can see at the top there log in with with admin uh find it in the user instructions it's probably pretty much default and log in and you'll immediately come to this window as you can see at the top the default password is in use please change so you can click on that change it to what you like um and and obviously remember it's got to be a rememberable password otherwise you're going to have a lot of difficulties trying to uh, get in i won't go through everything because i'm in limited to time so it's basically phone settings so you go down to a line here this is my hams over ip eu uh, extension and as you can see from the red from the line status it is registered for point of information that is where you put all the information you have from your credentials don't worry about a uh, proxy backup server ip address for the moment that's just something i was actually playing with to see if it actually works uh it's not necessary at this time when you get your credentials that's not provided by the way um so uh, don't 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 use that have all this here username is from your credentials is your extension display name that is displayed on the phone uh authentication authentication user is obviously your extension again password that's a password in your credentials and so on when you've done this 
click this box to activate it scroll down and hit apply then if it comes up registered you're good to go if it comes up with timeout then something is actually wrong and i can't really demonstrate what can go wrong without actually doing it over again and i don't really want to do this over again there are some other settings you can actually do um codex for hd quality audio i'll set mine to g722 it's exactly the same for, for cisco phones there is a second preferred codex and a third codex but i can't remember those i think it's got something to do with 711 and 711a i've got to believe but i've, I've set it for 7 g 7 g722 it apply the only difference with this Hang on a minute. No, you stay there, mate. Good boy. You stay there. All right. My dog's come in the bedroom. The only thing with this compared to, to a Cisco phone is that with a Cisco 525 on my previous video, you can jump pages, go to different pages, set it all up, then press submit changes. On these phones, when you, can, when you do this, don't go to another page and do something else because this will be lost come down here hit apply if it's registered you're fine and go if it's timed out but you want to check something else untip this box go back down and press apply all these settings will stay here but it'll be invalid I think or not register or something like that and um, all these will stay here and you can go somewhere else and you can actually check your settings that's the basic settings don't really know what hotspot zip hotspot actually is and you can check i wanted to show you something as well on this phone you can actually change i can't remember where it actually is might be under application no it's not function keys what's underneath here no uh advance no soft key no pgt key no i was actually trying to find something because you can actually change the color of the front of the actual phone itself um and i can't really find where that is at the moment not under system uh account tools might be under tools no configuration no i'm quickly gonna i'm going around trying to find it that doesn't really give me much to, to to play with i should really would have done this before i started the video but um i can't remember where it actually is not applications unfortunately Let's go back up to line look under advanced settings no it's not here no i wanted to show you something because you can actually change the colors i can't really find it at the moment i don't think it's under that no i don't think it is action plan no i can't so i do apologize on that one i'm wait, i'm wasting the video on here because i wanted to show you something that you actually changed the colors i can't at the moment let's try another one 
that's my Australian one as I'm admin member for hams over IP over here in the UK I have uh, three extensions that's exactly the same really from what I've, I've previously said uh, SIP transport protocol is UDP all the settings are actually the same and that's what it is to, to, to get up if you've got a Lealink W610W phone on hams over IP the other networks like amateur wire would do exactly the same because amateur wire and hams over IP don't automatically provision your phone if you have got a Lee link um, that may be supported by Hamshack hotline they will automatically provision the phone for you if you've got a fan fill uh, that might be uh, supported by Hamshack hotline they will automatically would actually rush it provision that for you and that's it for the moment this system is for the amateur radio all-star network one of the networks we can actually link to is all-star that's their all-star nodes that we can dial into the all-star 2167 and 2196 all-star nodes that's all the nodes linked to their system so when you dial from your hands over IP that's where it's actually highlighted all these other nodes will actually hear you talking back and some of these are international nodes I did see a VK here earlier on there it is VK6 FAB there is actually radio communications but the actual device is a either desk internet phone or for one of these portable phones you can actually make calls on this not outside calls only calls to, to the all-star network well thank you very much for watching my video on the just remember what it is link fill w 610w sip phone that you can use for the amateur radio foip networks 73s my dog's calling out for me now so i've got to go thanks for watching my videos please like subscribe for more videos cheers guys all the best